No, 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 So okay, can you let them get up? Get up fifteen. Just fifteen.
Well, I think um, protesters are human beings and they should be protected. Police, they are supposed to protect them. But our appeal is that even as you protest, how are you protesting? Because if you go destructing property, you become a criminal, then you are dealt with as a criminal. And that's why we said we want to urge the leaders will be calling for demonstrations or people to go and protest. They should also tell them that they should not destroy any property so that it doesn't turn to be criminal. So if just somebody is just with a peaceful demonstration, the police should be there to protect them and not to harm them. And I just want to add that issue of IBC because we, we, our focus as Jubilee is to look at also even the counties. There, there have been several disputes about the boundaries and we feel this is the high time. It's not just about the elections, it's not just, just because IBC does not just do elections. We want the boundaries to be looked at so that it is clear and that should be their first mandate. Elections happen, it will happen again in the next five years, now it is actually four years, so we should focus on the way forward, because we don't want to keep on repeating the same mistakes that we have done before. And because we have one of our candidates who was in Elbu, um, as a Jubilee candidate, I think it's good that he also gives his view on what he sees where we are, in just one minute, so he can talk from Elbu, so that we don't seem that we are only ones who are in Parliament, we also have ones who lost and our Jubilee died. Okay, thank you, um, Maurice. Nimetoka Embo, mimi ni pana wania kiti ya mtende ya manyata constituency Lakini kulienda vile kulienda Wale walikuwa kina kwanza kushinda Siti kukua katika mungano wa wazimio Lakini ya afkasiasa sisi kama jubiri Kutoka kwenye mungano wa wazimio Na hile memoranda mtumereta leo Kama vile mkua chama yetu wamesema Nilataka IPC wa kirudi Waangarie constituency ya mbazo zidafikisha Kiwango cha kutoa constituency zibaki zikiwa constituency na constituency kama yetu ya manyata unakuta constituency yetu ya manyata iko na e, imeshikanisho ka, ni kama constituency mbili ningeta kusema wakati IBC tarudi ikuje pale Embu County manyata constituency iweze kugawanishwa zikue constituency mbili ile mengi ambayo imeongea hapo Mr. Ikurudia kwa sababu kuwa chama ameongea mtoto wake ameongea na sisi kama wale ambao tuko nyuma yao ningeataka tukiingia huko kukupereke mwambaranda mietu wao ambao wamechaguriwa kwenye kamati ya bipartisan watayangalia mini kata kukwache ya kukwache na ni vizuri tuseme ya mwisho ni vizuri watu kwa heshimu vile kura inaenda huyu ni mmoja ambaye alipoteza kanini alipoteza haka kubali sasa kama kuma wale wata kuwa kikubali itaenda kutoka hile juu basi hata MPs ukue wawili kukue na MCs wawili so it is good that we have you know respect of the law once somebody loses you accept you have lost and then we look for the way forward and offer solutions to Kenyans instead of going backwards and trying to force our way in. That is one of the things that we say as Jubilee, let us respect whoever wins, because when you go to any competition, you know there will be a loser and a winner, and it is important that we respect that space. So you know our matter, and we would like that issue of the political parties to be respected, and especially after the election, such that people can sit down and agree a way forward. Um, second issue that we as the Jubilee Party are going to present today as part of our memoranda is that we support the issue of gender in the National Assembly and also for the Senate and the counties. And we are saying we should not just focus 
on the National Assembly alone, the Senate, but also even in the allocation from the executive, and we are happy on what happened with these governments. We are hoping that each and every area that the issue of gender will be looked at, but political parties should come up with a proper mechanism. And with IBC such that we will not be struggling like what we have done. We know there have been uh, those, the, 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 the High Court already ruled about the issue, but we have been struggling. We have a bill that is in Parliament supporting the issue of additional of, uh, women in Parliament, and we support. And so we have detailed um, information on this document on how we can be able to achieve that. On the issue of the cost of living, um, it's also something that we are very concerned about, and we know there are several interventions though majority maybe have not been very successful. But what we, our first proposal is that we need uh, to look at all the social protection programs that we have. And because we have a lot of reputation in some of them, we propose that we should be able to consolidate all the social programs to one, such that if you're talking about health, if somebody is an indigent and they need a health insurance card, they need to be supported by the government so that we don't have somebody getting maybe two or three benefits from different social protection programs. And we, we propose that if you are able to have consolidated and one program that can focus on the families of the indigents and the people who are not able from health and be supported in all aspects, in food and everything else, then we can be able to move on. But again, as I say, they are well detailed plan on how we can be able to do the social protection. We are very concerned on what happens after the elections. And for us, yes, we support the issue of demonstration, but peaceful demonstration. And we are saying, if somebody calls for peaceful demonstration, we are proposing that if any destruction of property happens, then those people should be held liable. And so, so that if you're calling your people to come out for peaceful demonstration, you should also address them and tell them we should not destroy any property. We have seen destruction of properties, we have seen people closing businesses, people are actually going back because of these demonstrations. And so we are saying, as we support the demonstrations, the people calling for peaceful demonstration, if any destruction happens, they should be held liable. And I think that is one of the things that we are proposing. The issue of the office of the leader of the opposition is part of the issue that we are also talking about. And you know, Jubilee initially, we had talked about the winner, the issue of winner takes draw should not happen. And our proposal is now broader. If you are going to have the office of the leader of opposition, we are proposing that that person will be the, of the leader of opposition in the National Assembly, the person will be number two in the election, and the deputy to be the leader of opposition at the Senate so that then any party will not feel like they have been left aside. So if you are creating the office of leader of opposition in the parliament, so the, the number two becomes the leader of opposition at the National Assembly, and the deputy becomes the leader of opposition at the Senate. I think some of those are some of the issues that we have highlighted, but my colleagues can add on more issues that we have as a chance. Thank you so much. I think uh, our party leader has generally summarized what is contained in this particular document. Uh, what you want to say is the support of the national government in the process. We are going to support the government. Ms. Jubilee is a party that believes in the cause of the constitution, the constitution of the Jubilee is a party that believes in constitutionalism, the rule of law, and peaceful conditions of all Kenyans. We also believe that election is an event, an event must have timelines, and there must be a winner and a loser. And that is why we as Jubilee have made a conscious decision to accept the democratic process the Kenyan people have undertaken in the month of August 2022. There are issues we are told, uh, as we support this particular process, we are told that uh, uh, there are certain invitations based on coalitions. We want to also, as we have done before, Jubilee is an independent political party that is not part of as a mere coalition, neither part of the Kenya Panzer coalition. It's an independent political party, and for information, it's the third largest party in Kenya. And the second largest party, actually, under the former coalition of Azimio. So there are a number of issues that we have itemized. First, the issue of cost of living is something that affects all of us, and therefore, what we need is a holistic approach that addresses all aspects of that issue. Not politicization, how do we address the cost of living? It's not a one-day event. And this is one thing that uh, we have clearly addressed and we are saying that we need to put our foot together as leadership, as citizens, in order to bring about uh, affordable housing, food security, uh, affordable health care. Then these issues require concerted effort by Kenyans, not politicization through uh, uh, propaganda or through demonstrations. The other bit that we have also had, uh, talked about is the issue of gender equity. The issue of two that is in the constitution. Uh, in the last parliament, that is the 12th parliament, the then CJ made a decision, actually the Supreme Court, let me say, and declared the 12th parliament unconstitutional. 
this is not something that because it's a constitutional provision we must think out of the box and address this issue and once and for all address it with finality that's why we as jubilee propose that this is the issue of the cdf has always been a motive issue where i come from you always say our first government the cdf so anything that rubbishes or takes away CDF, and that applies to all members of parliament, it takes, uh, we, we will assume that person is hell-bent on taking our rights. So we also feel that the issue of CDF must also be entrenched in the constitution. Now election being an event, the issue of the office of official opposition, I know people want it, but right now they are starting that particular issue. Our proposal is as explained by our party leader, that our, our proposal is the runner-up, the person who becomes second after the general election occupies the office that office in the national assembly and the rarement of that person also occupies the second that is the duplicate official position in the senate that will bring a bit of 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 of, 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 of discipline and acceptability and therefore this issue of this the other people we are also uh, uh, added in our proposal is the issue of uh, fidelity to the existence of political parties. We as Jubilee, before the election we were party to a coalition. That coalition didn't work. And therefore we applied the necessary professions to exit. That must be respected. We cannot be forced into a marriage that we don't believe in. That is why in Parliament and everywhere else our pronouncement is Jubilee as a party, as an independent party that does not belong to the uh, Kenya Panza or as we are coalition, must be respected as an independent political entity. And that is why we are here. The other bit that I think we should also uh, 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 be uh, part of this uh, is, you see, the reason why we have a generous and progressive constitution is for all, all of us to submit to the rule of law. You can't selectively apply, uh, use the law when it fits you. The issue of mandamandos, destruction of public property, causing mayhem, this must be done within the rule of law. And our proposal is, whoever calls for public demonstration must also ensure that those who are not interested in that demonstration or those who participate in that particular demonstration also enjoy a bit of peace and tranquility and that will be our proposal so that it doesn't just become a one-end proposal it should be a one, uh, you know, uh, uh, way proposal it should be two ways so that the whoever is proposing this enjoys the constitutional right the other person who wants to just be an observer also enjoys the constitutional right of being an observer in all this, the bottom line is this we have a country and we are bringing this proposal so that we can also enhance our governance platform. And that's why we have to be a good and to do the law, both the letter and speak. Thank you so much. Santi, kwa sababu sana tumesema kwa Kiingereza sana vizuri tuseme kwa Kiswahili. Niseme kwamba tumefika hapa kama chama cha Jubili tukiwakilisha NEC yetu na tumekuja hapa ili tutoe mapendekezo kwa kamati ama kongamano hili ambalo linakutana hapa Bomas ambayo inajadilia mambo ambayo inahusu taifa hili la Kenya. Ken. Ni vizuri tuwakumbushe kwamba chama cha Jubilee ndicho chama cha tatu kikubwa katika taifa hili la Kenya. Ken. Na hakuwezi kuwa na mazungumzo eh, ya kina ambayo inaweza fanywa katika jamhuri hii yetu kama chama cha Jubilee hakijahusishwa kule ndani. Kwa hivyo tumekuja leo ili tutoe maoni yetu na mapenye, na, na mapendekezo yetu. Kwa kifupi kwa sababu wale walio nitangulia wamenena yote. Niseme kwamba sisi kama chama cha Jubilee tunatabua na tunasema kwamba kamati hii ambayo inaongozwa na Mheshimiwa Kemani Chongwa na pia Mheshimiwa Kalonzo Musyoka ni kamati ambayo itatoa mapendekezo ambayo inaweza leta manufaa makubwa sana katika taifa hili letu la Kenya. Kwa hivyo sisi kama watu wa Jubilee tunaunga mkono kamati hii hata kama wakati ilikuwa inaundwa wale ambao wale, walikuwa nasema kwamba ni wa mlengo wetu hawakuweka mtu hata mmoja wa chama chetu cha Jubilee lakini hata kama hawakuweka hawakuweka mtu wa Jubilee sisi tunasema kwamba wale ambao wako watatuwakilisha na tutahakikisha kwamba maoni yetu mapendekezo yetu yatawekwa katika ile report ya mwisho ambayo itawasilishwa hapa kwa kifupi tu niseme kwamba sisi kama chama cha Jubilee tunapendekeza kwamba uchaguzi unapoisha ama unapotamatishwa ni vizuri vyama viheshimiwe 
kama chama kinasema kwamba tulikuwa katika muungano huu wakati wa uchaguzi lakini baada ya uchaguzi tumeona kwamba mambo yetu hayaangaliwi sawa sawa ni e, vizuri vya mahivi ama miungano hiyo inakubali kwamba kuna uhuru wa chama vile ilikuwa ni hiali ya sisi watu wa jubilii katika muungano kuingia muungano wa azimio iwe pia ni hiali yetu pia kama chama cha jubilii kutoka kwa muungano lakini hauwezi lazimishwa kwa muungano ambao wewe mwenyewe umeangalia umeona kwamba mnateswa sisi tangu tuingie bunge la taifa wabunge wetu na wanachama wetu wametengwa kwa kamati kwa viti vya uongozi wametengwa kwa hivyo sisi tarehe kumi mwezi wa pili mwaka huu tukakuwa na mkutano eh wa NEC ambao ulisema kwamba tunataka taratibu tutoke katika muungano wa uh, wa azimio na wakati tunatoka muungano wa azimio hatutoki kwa muungano wa azimio tunaingia muungano mwingine sisi tunataka kwanza kutanguliwa kama chama ambacho kinajulikana katika bunge letu la taifa kwa sababu tumehitimu na tumefikisha kiwango cha kuwa tunatambulika kama chama. Ya pili tumesema kwamba sisi kama chama cha jubilii alama yetu ikiwa jiwa ni alama ya amani. Kwa hivyo sisi kila wakati tunapendekeza mambo ya amani hata wakati tunatofautiana na mde yote. Sisi tunasema kwamba cha kwanza ni kuwa na marithiano, ya pili ni kuwa na mazungumzo na sisi hata kamwe hatuungi mkono mambo ya kuleta rapsha uharibifu wa mali katika taifa hili sisi kama jubilii najua sisi ndio tulikuwa kwa serikali ndio misingi mingi katika taifa hili ilijengwa na serikali ya jubilii hatuwezi kuwa sisi watu wa jubilii tutaunga mkono wale ambao watu wanaenda kuharibu express highway ile ilijengwa na jubilii barabara zimejengwa na jubilii sisi kama tumesema kwamba hatutakubali mambo kama hayo na tukielekea kule kule mbele kama vile eh, kiongozi wetu wa chama amesema kama unataka kushiriki katika maandamano iwe ni kushiriki katika maandamano ya amani lakini wakati kuna kuleta fujo kuna uharibifu wa mali wewe ambao uliita mkutano huo wa, wa kuleta uh, maandamano wewe mwenyewe die utakuwa unagaramia mambo hayo ya pili tuseme kwamba sisi kama chama tume, tunajua kwamba mwaka ujao ndio deadline ya IBC kudrimit ama kuangalia upya sehemu wakilishi za bunge. Tunajua kwamba kuna sehemu zingine ambapo e, mbunge mmoja anawakilisha zaidi ya watu elfu e, mia, mia sita kama hapa Ruiro na kwingineko. Ni vizuri IBC wakati ita, itakuwa inaangazia mambo hayo ihakikishe kwamba yule mbunge ambaye anawakilisha watu wengi anapata hela sawa sawa na wale watu ambao anawakilisha ama tuhakikishe kwamba sehemu zote zinawakilishwa sawa sawa lakini sisi kama watu wa jubilee tumesema kwa sababu kuna constituencies ishirini na sita ambazo hazikuwa zimefikisha kiwango cha kuwa constituencies wakati IBC itakuwa inafanya uh, upya uh, sehemu wakilishi bunge ihakikishe kwamba hizo constituencies zimehifadhiwa the constituencies that did not meet the, 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 the threshold should be, should be preserved and that is our, what we have actually proposed uh, in, our, in our memorandum here so ya mwisho niseme kwamba sisi kama jubilee tumesema kwamba tutahakikisha kwamba tumetumisha tumeimarisha amani kwa sababu Kenya ni yetu Kenya ikiimarika sisi wote tunafurahia lakini kukiwa na changamoto katika taifa hili sisi wote tunaangamia Mheshimiwa Mheshimiwa Kanini uh, swali tu eh, mapendekezo ambayo tayari yametolewa yanaangazia kwamba huenda uh, baadhi ya mambo ambayo yamependekezwa na makundi tofauti yakaribishwa kupitia kura ya maoni pengine msimamo wa jubilee ni kuhusu pengine kura ya maoni kubadilisha haya mambo eh, tu, tutafika kwa sababu wale ambao wanafanya mikutano kule ndio watakwambia zile sheria ambazo zinahitaji kura ya maoni ikifika kwa sababu labda kuna zingine ambazo zita, zitahitaji kura ya maoni wakati tutafika hapo sisi tuta tutashiriki hapo lakini ni vizuri pia niseme sisi kama jubilee kwa sababu kuna wengine na kuna uhuru wa kila mtu kupendekeza uh, chochote sisi tunakemea na tunasema kwamba wale ambao wanasema kwamba term ya president ibadilishwe sisi tunakataa 
na tunakataa kwa sababu mtu anapatiwa muhula wake wa kufanya kazi na sio wote ukipatiwa muhula kama rais lazima umalize kila kitu moyo alikuwa akafanya yake hakumaliza mzee kibaki akaja akafanya yake hakumaliza mheshimiwa uhuru akaja akafanya yake hakumaliza hata mheshimiwa uh, dr william samoi ruto atafanya yake hatamaliza mwingine atakuja kumalizia kwa hivyo wale wana vizigizio ya kusema kwamba tunataka tuongeze muhula wa rais uwe miaka saba na ingine saba ili rais amalize kazi hakuna rais hata mmoja katika dunia achao maliza kazi ya nchi kwa sababu kila siku kuna matukio ambayo yanajitokeza kila wakati